<laughs> you thought you had beaten me, but you should know by now that you can never defeat Count Condor! <laughs> Farewell, you fiendish foul! No, I can be rid of you once and for all! Pirate Pete? Hey, it's me. And that's me friend you got there. And if there's one thing I've learned today, it's that friends always stick together. Isn't that right, matey? Friends stick together. Now, let go of me bird. And why should I do that when there's only one of you? But three of me. <laughs> but I'm not alone either. Count. Patchy, swordfish, let's save our feathered friend. Get him, Pete. Why are you watching a little kid show? It's not a little kid show. <laughs> then why does it come on after counting with Mrs. Tickles? Shh, this is the best part. Baby show. If I've told you once, Count, I've told you a thousand times. You can never steal me treasure, because friends are the greatest treasure a person can ever have. Ah, oh, there's me best friend. Thanks for always believing in me, matey, even when I didn't deserve it. Ah, oh, that pirate Pete. He just loves matey so much. He's such a good friend. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hiya, kids! Hiya, Pete! Matey and I want to invite you to join us at this year's Pirate Fest. <laughs> what? Pirate Fest? That's right! A weekend celebration of all things pirate! So pack your bags and climb aboard for this year's Pirate Fest! Ah, tickets are on sale now! Oh my goodness! Do you know what this means? Uh, no. Pirate Fest is only the biggest, greatest Pirate Fest of the year. And this year, Pirate Pete himself will be there. Do you think he would sign my poster? <laughs> what if he asked me to join his crew? I mean, he wouldn't, but what if he did? Uh-huh, and that would be cool. Defrades, Chandler, conference room, now. Good. Now we can be done with all this pirate nonsense. I need you to drop everything you're doing. But sir... Bye-bye Pirate Fest. But there's this thing that... Save it, Defrades. Right now I need you to head over to... Pirate Fest. What? That's right. We just received information that someone is going to try and steal this. <gasps> The legendary sword of Captain Whitebeard! Captain who? When a fleet of evil pirates threatened his village, everyone fled. Everyone, that is, except the courageous captain, who took to the sea to defend his people. With his last ounce of strength, he single-handedly defeated the pirates and saved his people even though he could not save himself. The sword sunk to the bottom of the sea, never to be seen again. 
Until now. What? The sword was recently discovered and will be the central display at the Pirate Fest. I want you there watching that sword at all times. We can't let it go missing. Wow. Whitebeard's sword. Legend says only a person with the same unselfish courage as Captain Whitebeard can wield the power of his sword. So, what kind of awesome weapon do you have for me this time? An eye patch ray? A flamethrowing hook? A wooden leg rocket? Something even better. This. A spoon? Not just any spoon. Press the red button. Great! It'll come in handy the next time I'm attacked by a giant bowl of cereal. How about something more piratey? Like a sword. Arr. What? Every person there will have one. What's wrong with that? Last time I checked, sword beats spoon. Yes, but this way you'll have the element of surprise. Hmm. Oh, they'll be surprised, all right. And I'll be watching you the whole time with this. Her name is Penelope. She's an interactive mobile surveillance station with thermal scanning, sonar capabilities, night vision, and she can do this. Impressive. Now all you need is a singing bear and you have that circus you've always dreamed of. Ha ha, funny. Penelope Peeps will be your eyes in the sky. As long as she's watching, this mission will be smooth sailing. Of course, with Robo Bird and a giant spoon, what could go wrong? Ow! We're almost there. Oh, pigs! What? It wasn't me. That's it! Wow! Let's split up so we can find the sword faster, okay? Hmm. 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 <sighs> Why do I even bother? Ryan! Uh, Mom? What are you doing here? Well, I thought it would be sweet if I... It doesn't matter. Look, I'm on a very dangerous mission right now. There could be evil villains lurking around every corner. Attention visitors, the legendary sword of Captain Whitebeard will go on display in five minutes. <laughs> I gotta go! <laughs> that is not a nice little bird. Ryan, do you see anything? Where is the sword display? I've looked everywhere. <sighs> Turn around. Oh, be right back. Where are you going? I is, is this thing on? Ryan, what are you doing? 392 years ago, a precious sword was lost to the bottom of the ocean. But now it has been found! Whitebeard was literally the last person to touch this sword. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I present... Whitebeard Sword! Mind me. <sighs> Attention visitors, Pirate Pete is now signing autographs by our main ship exhibit. Pirate Pete? Don't even think about it. Wait for me! Now, oh, man, this line goes on forever. I'm never going to get my poster signed. Ryan, what are you doing? You're supposed to be guarding the sword. I was just there. Yeah, I know, but you can't just leave it unguarded. It's fine. The thing is so big, no one could possibly steal it. The sword! 
It's gone! <gasps> no! You have to find that sword! But what about my autograph? Seriously? What happened? Someone stole Whitebeard's sword! Who could have done such a thing? I might have a clue. Not now, Mom! But I think I... Who would plunder this priceless pirate prize? Who would steal this sensational swashbuckling saber? Who would take this tantalizing treasure? Who would... We have a lead. What? Someone just called in a tip. What? Who? Oh... The boss wants you here. <laughs> What's going on? Someone stole the sword, and Mrs. DeFrades thinks she knows who. Well, what are you waiting for? Bring her in! You did what? Brian, I gave you one job, but instead you run off to get an autograph? In my defense, it was Pirate Pete's autograph, and I didn't even get it. How could you? Did you want me to get you one too? No! I want you to stop being so selfish. A good agent never puts his wants above the needs of the mission. Guess that makes you a bad agent. Today, yes it does. But don't worry, sir. We do have one team member who knows what's important. Mrs. DeFrades, tell him about your lead. Well, when I got to the crime scene, I found this. A feather? A feather belonging to the one and only... Uh, hold on. Matey McCaw! Wait, you think a bird stole the sword? Yes! But Matey is the nicest, kindest, sweetest little bird who ever sailed the seven seas. He would never steal a sword. Trust me, that bird is not as innocent as he looks. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ryan, I want you and your mom to head back to Pirate Fest and find that bird. How'd it go, boys? Did you bring back me treasure? See for yourself! Ha! <laughs> Excellent! At last! Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of being the most feared pirate who ever lived! Hey! Look at that little dweeby sailor! <laughs> but nobody believed in me! Instead, they laughed at me. <laughs> it was then I decided to be the most powerful pirate who ever lived. Then, nobody would laugh at me. Nobody. Nobody! <laughs> And now... Now! The moment I've waited me whole life for! All the pirate power in the world will soon be mine! Blasted sword won't come out. What? Oh, that's it. There's only one thing left to try. Matey! Find me a can of Barnacle Be Gone! The number one barnacle remover for all your barnacle problems! <sighs> and that's why you should always check the gas before you leave. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm fine. I know this day hasn't gone like you hoped, sweetie. 
I wanted to watch my show, but Pix kept talking. I wanted to hold the sword, but it wouldn't come loose. I wanted Pete's autograph, but then Bradburn got mad and yelled at me. He even had the nerve to call me selfish. Well, you have been pretty focused on what you want today. Maybe you'd feel better if you thought more about helping others. Nope, I'm pretty sure I just want a signed poster. <sighs> but I'll think about it. Good. Now about that bird. I think I know how to catch him. Ah! Find the barnacle be gone! Find the barnacle be gone! Stop wiggling! <sighs> Nobody steals candy from my baby! There! All right, bird, you're going to talk. Nothing to say, nothing to say. Matey, how could you? You're not like this, you're a good bird. Now just tell me where the sword is and we'll let you... No! <laughs> All right, bird, is that how it's going to be? <laughs> you're going to tell us where that sword is or... He's in love. Oh, brother. Matey, will you tell this pretty bird where the sword is? Pretty bird! Squawk. Do we have any more hammers? Okay, here's the plan. Where's Matey? What's taking so long? Ow! Oh, oh, oh me good foot! Not so fast, Pete. I just got two questions for you. One, how could you? And two, will you sign my poster? You want me autograph? How's this? Get them, boys! Aha! Aha? What good will a little spoon do you? Ah! Take that! Ah, oh! And that! Get her, boys! Where's my purse? Dating. Ugh! It's for the birds. No! Wow! This is incredible! Did you do this? Uh, I think you got the wrong impression. This one. Oh, so that's how you do the ribbon stitch. An autographed pirate Pete poster. Okay, now this is just getting weird. What are you two doing? Get him! Mom! I found your purse! <sighs> How is this even happening to me? 
Nobody destroys a dock my son's standing on. Coming, sweetie! Whoa! Only one who is truly selfless can wield Whitebeard's sword. Run for your lives! <laughs> nice try! <laughs> Here you go, Mom. Oh, Ryan, thank you so much. No problem. You're worth it. And you were right. I have been pretty selfish lately. It actually felt pretty good to think about someone else for a change. Well, it's a good thing you did because you also saved this. <gasps> An autographed Pirate Pete poster? But how? Why do you think I was at Pirate Fest in the first place? I knew how much he meant to you, so I made sure I was first in line to get an autograph for you. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Hide me. Squawk! Squawk! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Squawk! Oh, by the way, Pix, congratulations. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kendra, and this is my brother Jeremy, and we are the writers of Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. In today's lesson, Ryan battled a greedy old pirate and learned the danger of being selfish. I wanted to watch my show, but Pix kept talking. I wanted to hold the sword, but it wouldn't come loose. I wanted Pete's autograph, but then Bradburn got mad and yelled at me. It's hard not to be selfish. Putting others first takes some work. But doing so is important to God and makes everyone happy. The Bible tells us an amazing story that illustrates this really well. One day, God's people were about to go into battle against a mighty army. God warned his people that after they battle, they should not keep any of the enemy's gold for themselves. While the battle raged, a soldier named Achan found a pile of gold and some cool clothes. Tempted, he disobeyed God and hid what he found in his own tent. God's people defeated the mighty army that day, but Achan's selfishness would soon bring trouble. A few days later, God's people came across another evil army. This time, the evil army was small and tiny. Despite their small size, the evil army defeated God's people in battle. The people cried out to God to see why they lost, and God told them it was because Achan had been disobedient and selfishly kept some of the golden clothes. That day, Achan's selfishness cost him his life. Achan had only thought of himself, and because of that, he brought defeat to his people. You see, God takes selfishness pretty seriously. But if you ask him, he'll show you how to put others first. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll come back again next time on Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent.